So today I am extending the brake lines on my 2003 Sportster, um, basically because I've got these new fork extenders and clearly the brake line does not go down to the caliper. Um, so a few tools you'll need, it's obviously your new brake line, um, a hex key set, some spanners and this vacuum to suck up the brake fluid. So the first thing you want to do is remove the reservoir cover and then from there we can suck out the old brake fluid. pump to suck out most of this. Let's position it somewhere so it all goes in okay. There we go. That's pretty much the reservoir bed dry now. The rest of it we're going to get from the actual caliper itself. So bleeding the brakes is fairly easy. You put your vacuum pump on this nipple, then get a little spanner and undo it, and then pump the hose to get the vacuum going. So to bleed the excess, again you want to get your vacuum pump uh, connected to the caliper bleed nipple and then get an 8mm wrench or spanner and basically get pressure on here and release from here. So the next stage is to remove the two banjos, so one here using a 12mm spanner and one here which on this particular middle is a 10mm spanner. So what I'll do is I'll do that now and then I'll come back. Okay so actually fitting the brake line is fairly easy, um, it goes washer, line, washer, then the nut, then obviously the same at the top. Uh, most bikes have this little fitting to give the brake line more stability. So the next stage is to put your brake fluid in. I've gone for Drag Specialties fluid because it's uh, pretty well recommended. And for my Sportster, it's DOT5 silicone. So the first step is to basically just fill up the reservoir back up again with your fluid. So pretty much the last step once you've filled up your reservoir is then bleeding the brakes again. Same process as before. You put the vacuum pump onto the nipple, then undo the little bolt, and then pump until you don't see any bubbles. Wow. <laughs>